What's up guys, and welcome into episode 14, I believe, of the Pokemon Heart Gold Shady Lock, where we're just spreading love every day. Every day this goes up at least, so it's Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. So, quick show off for anyone who may have missed the last episode, which you definitely go check out, playlist link in the description down below. We got Rescue the Elma Star, Gore at the Hypno, Bean the Porygon 2, Cormo the Haunter, uh, Amazon the Gliscor, and Casual the Ludicolo. And we're gonna be taking on the seventh gym here today, so we're just gonna hop right on into it. Um, at least we're going to be attempting to take on the seventh gym. Um, obviously, you know, I can't know exactly how it's gonna go but i hope it's gonna go well and we're gonna take this badge pretty quickly now i do know or i'm pretty sure that he has like level 34 i think it is so i might have to take a break from the gym because that's like a pretty big risk to take whenever i don't need to like this right here um I don't really need to take this risk against this uh, Polyrath, who probably is going to have like Dynamic Punch or Annoyingly Hypnosis. So I'm just going to be, you know. <sighs> also, if you guys are enjoying the content I am putting up, please remember to hit the sub button. We're trying to hit that thousand subscribers by the end of July. That's going to be that new goal I'm going to set right now. End of July, thousand subscribers. I only got like three months to hit it, so let's do it. Come on, guys, we can do it. No problem. There's plenty of people in the community. If you just help out by sharing it out a little bit more, you know, Discord with your friends, with your family, we can easily hit that, you know? Show them the channel. I'm sure they'll enjoy what we're doing here. It's all, you know, just chill vibes all around. Who doesn't like chill vibes, you know? This poly world is a push over, dude. We're gonna get correct. Uh, bop, 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 bop. I need to give Pokemon items again. <clears throat> Poliwhirl is a. Hmm, let me try it again. Ludicolo is a really good answer to Poliwhirl. Because, like, pretty much, unless it's hitting with a fighting type move, he can't really touch me. Especially if I keep disabling, not disabling, but like negating his hypnosis immediately. Granted, it still takes me a turn, but I'm still coming out on top in my opinion. Alright, mm, I don't think I'm really going to be needing a choice band. Oh, I will take bright powder. Probably to Amazon. Wise glasses would not be bad. Or rescue. Give the miracle seed probably over to casual. Um, quick club might be something. Hmm. But my kitty cat is trying to touch the screen and play with me. Currently, I am not needing of that. I am trying to play uh, for myself right now. Yes, Autumn. There we go. I feel a little bit better now. Bit. Shoo. You keep touching the screen. Sorry. This is both to you and to her. I don't want to have to make her move, but she keeps touching the screen. It's really distracting. Um. Let's see. Looks like I'm gonna have to fight this person. I'm really. Mm -hmm. So. That one person had all 29. I'm pretty sure his ace. Ooh, hello. 
I do not like seeing you. Um, I'm pretty sure his ace is 34. That's really annoying to hit with right now. I have a way to heal it, no problem, like with a um, 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 um. Lava cookie, got it. That's a crit, right? That's not a crit? There's no way Wise Glass is boosted that much. I don't know what is wrong with this Haunch Crow. That still only did like six. What do you mean I'm switching out? What do you mean? Get out of here, Haunch Crow. Yeah, I got. I, I constricted you. No. Oh. Did it not just raise my attack? You use swagger. I feel so confused right now. Like, I... It almost feels like he raised my special attack and not my attack. Oh. I know what it is. Rescue has unaware. So, stat changes don't matter. I got there. I got there. That's actually like good and bad. Cause it was like, man, I really hope I can kill with Constrict here. Nope. You sure can't. Cause he is completely unaware he has been affected by stat changes. One of those like good and bad situations where like I'm not really hurting myself as much as I could. Um But it's also not great for me since I was kind of relying on it. <clears throat> Here we go, this is kind of more the fight I was hoping to see. Just rescue versus a Q-bone. Um, I actually really do want to look up prices and levels real quick if I can. Let's see. Rice, Electabuzz, no thank you. Um. Yeah, let's let Amazon take care of it. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> I think every time I search on. Google for like a Pokemon related question. I always want to just go to Serebii, but they make it so hard for me to go to Serebii. Um, hmm. I do not like that damage. Keep timestamping whenever I don't need to, because I'm trying to do this one handed. Um. Let's see. Here we go. Yeah, price does have a 34. I feel like I... I feel like I'm gonna get really unlucky with a 34 against my 25s. Because even my best level is like 27 right now, and that's still... He's still 7 levels above me. I think that's too much of a gap right now, and I need to go... And make my way towards, like, um... Sea and wood, and that should give me my necessary levels to be able to beat Price. Oh, Amazon, you beautiful goblin, you. Oh, sorry, Soph, I forgot you were under my desk. My doggo is under the desk. I poked her in the chest. I had to feel where my feet were. Snoobull. You're not a fairy. Um. You can probably use Bean. Bean's not really seeing a lot of light right now. Because, like. The, the thing that makes Bean, like, really good, especially as Porygon 2, is Eviolite, and that's not a thing for another generation. So it's like. I'm kind of waiting until he evolves. Wow! Wow! Yeah. 
Does Snubble have really good special defense, or is my special attack that bad? I am super blown away by that. That just does not feel like those numbers add up. Alright, send in someone better, right? I mean, you're fine. You're not gonna hurt anything. And there we go. It's super effective! On the fairy of the future. The fairy of the future. That's a... It sounds like a show title. Um... Phil of, Phil of Future? Is that what the show is? I mean, you, you could probably make a show called Fairy of the Future and it'd probably be decently successful, I would say. Um, I'm gonna speed up through the rest of these gym fights because I'm probably just gonna head out of here right after. And it's not that important for me to just kind of, you know, clobber some of these guys. Uh, your Cormo. Nice. On him. Stop touching the screen. I already told you you can't. Okay, so you can't actually do it that way. So he's just like a uh, red herring, I guess? Is that what it's called when it's like fakes like they're gonna do something? Or maybe like... No, I think I said that right. Alright, A-Pom. I'm a little curious if Apom can actually touch- wait, can I even touch an Apom? I can't. That's an Ambipom. Uh, we'll go and let Khan take care of it. He actually couldn't touch me. Um... Oh, heal order. I would really love to get that- there we go, that poison. That's what I was hoping for. I didn't need to use quick attack. I've been raising my speed so steadily. Shield on. Um. On casual, just surf. Oh, not surf. Surf is super effective. There we go. Okay, there's all the trainers beat in the gym. So now I guess I'm just gonna go fight the trainers along the way to Olivai and Cianwood. I don't care, Lyra. I really don't. I'm gonna put Bean out front because Bean's kind of falling a little bit behind right now. Also, Bean does have the amulet coin for. Oh. For sleepy times like this. Did I never grab that item? No, that's right. It's uh, it's on the Mount Mortar side. You have to like go through Mount Mortar to get it. I also remember saying that I'm gonna like uh, get all these apric apricots, apricorns. I forget the name of them again. Um, and I'm gonna be like using them for all these encounters. And I just I ha completely forgot about that over the time between recording sessions. Um, and now I'm kind of at the point where it's like I don't care as much. I would say. Alright, so I know I got the Gerard, not Gyarados, the Groudon encounter right here to the left of the city. But I don't think I went any further than that and got the next encounter yet, nor like the Olivine encounter. Did I even fight these guys? Oh, I think I did. I'm pretty sure I did not make it all the way to Olivine, though. Like, I think I stopped somewhere around here. Oh, I did! Or else this guy wouldn't be here. <sighs> sure. I'll take, uh... Buy a... B -b 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 yeah, I'll take him. Bobo! Bobo! I'll take Bobo. 
I'm pretty sure one of these mill tanks over here actually gives me a moo moo mill, which I will take gladly. Uh, that's kind of trash. Nisus actually wouldn't be so bad if they would uh, drop accuracy by two stages rather than one, but since it's just one, it's just kind of like, eh. It's not really that much different than sand attack, so what are you really getting out of it that's special? There were a lot of moves like that, though. Like, I actually like just recently posted on Twitter about how um, Cinderace's hidden ability is literally just Protean. And, like, I get why they changed its name, because, like, it didn't make sense for a rabbit to, like, change its skin like how frogs and chameleons do. But at the same time, it was like, um, what are you doing? Why are you making another new ability? That's the exact same thing. I don't know, it's just, it's, it's a little bit annoying whenever they do that, because, like, we have enough abilities that are, like, the same thing, and, like, they even had a point where, like, they didn't release an ability because it was the same thing, um, back in Gen 3, whenever we had, um, the ability that was put into the coding of the game called Cacophony, that was literally just soundproof, so it was, like, they sometimes, like, think about it, but most of the time, they're just like, nah, it's fine. Just go and put it through. We don't need new abilities. Like, I still think um, an ability that's like uh, Intimidate but lower special attack would be really cool. You know, because like that'd be a really competitive ability, like no doubt. Because Intimidate's like super duper used, but like a special attacking one would be used just as much. And I think it might open the door for more Pokemon. I don't really know what it would be called, though, to be honest. I think I'm just gonna go for the encounter, to be honest. Uh, since I know I'm going for the encounter, let me throw out Grit, and also I'm paralyzed. And I have to remember I can't go to Pokemon Centers. Nice. Alright, what do we get? Not terrible. We already have some pretty good water types, though. So he's just... Doesn't really add much to the table, I would say. Um, yeah. I definitely was kind of hoping for something a little bit better. I might be able to throw a Pokeball at this, it's a Carvana, you know, you can fish them up pretty well with like a good rod. Hey, let's go, let's go. Alright, so I actually did, uh... Hey, calm down. I did pull up the recent subscriber list this time. See you! We got uh, JT Animations. Thank you for that subscription. It's been a little while since you have, so I do hope you've been keeping up with the content. But I'm gonna name this Carvana JT. And just go ahead and there we go. Um, I still need the training, anyways. Like that's pretty much one of the biggest reasons why I came back and am here right now is to do training. So I really should just go ahead and. Heal, paralysis, and take on the rest of these trainers. Because it seems like I might end up just going ahead and doing the badges more in order, uh, just so I get that extra levels in this kind of lock type. Although I've kind of also realized that I don't think I'm really going to have any issues right now. And uh, I also have no idea how many tokens I have, just so you guys know. Yeah, I, I have absolutely no clue how many I have. I think, like, three or four would be my guess, but I do not know. Not for the life of me. I really need to look back, uh, probably between this episode and the next, and check out what, um, how many I had going out of episode 12. 
because obviously this episode will go up after episode 12 because it's episode 14 and that's how numbers work. Thank you, brain. Yep, my brain and me are on the same page all the time, all the time. That's why uh, whenever my mouth moves, words sometimes come out. And sometimes they don't. Because me and my brain are like, yep, we're an idiot. So it's fine. Oh, really? But really? But really? You paralyzed me with your static. But really? <clears throat> there, got an annoying cat who um, wants to be in and out of the room at the same time. But to be honest, it's probably more of uh, just the doors being open that she prefers. And that's just not reality. It's not going to happen. It is. Not all doors can always be open. And I'm hoping one day she will finally realize that. And I don't have to hear crying um, every time I go to the bathroom and want to shut the door. Which is every time, just in case you're wondering. Every time. <clears throat> and I don't win if she's in the bathroom with me, because then she wants out of the bathroom. There, there, there's like no winning in the situation, I promise you. I'm really glad there's like just quite a few trainers um, back and forth here that I can just kind of jump between. I'm also glad I don't have to use my experience share right now either. Hey, do you guys know what level Bean might evolve? Like it might happen... Um, it might happen before you guys like see... Well, of course it'll happen before you guys see the episode. Um, but if it's like it won't happen until he's like 40, then that's like pushing like league time probably. Does he have effects for? Wow. What a Noctowl, dude. What a Noctowl. Effects for Noctowl. Fun fact, I have a um, Braylon with effects for, obviously, um, in my Radical Red. I'm also not streaming that series at the moment. Uh, it's just kind of casual play for me um, that I've been doing at night. But then I also decided that I can't do that anymore because I'm not being productive enough. Because like I can be doing this series that actually does stuff for me, whereas the one I'm playing by myself isn't doing anything really like prosperous for me okay i think i'm just gonna switch out this is kind of annoying um he's going uproar i know he probably had well like i can't touch him that's kind of my problem i really should give um haunter another move you know haunter uh, i wonder if he also turns into gengar I think I had a chance to actually catch a Gengar, but I didn't take it. Just go quick attack, It'll probably take about. <laughs> Sorry, dude, still sleepy, still sleepy. Trying to wake myself up, trying to wake myself up. Oh, dude, okay. So I've also been coaching. Um, oh, well, mm -hmm. I've been. What is the right word? I've been trying to help. Um, Coworker, um, who is like a little bit shy, be less shy. Um, and I've been trying to teach her like kind of like more of the basics of um, how casual conversation is. And I'm just like, well, if you just kind of like look around you and like just pick something, and you can probably make a pretty good topic out of that, and just kind of go off like tangent um, points from that conversation. So like, I'm looking currently at um, a Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee poster, and then it's just like, man, you guys remember those games? Like, people are still playing those games to this day, like, uh, there's this streamer who um, I've had a little bit of contact with, um, mainly over Twitter, um, just like responding to uh, her tweets, um, Little Shelter, uh, who 
who does shiny hunting in that game. And it seems like she has a really fun time doing it. So it makes me want to like play that game again, but uh, whenever I got my Switch, like it bricked on me. I lost all of my progress of completing that game. So it was like, I really don't want to play back through Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. It's not as much fun as I would like it to be for a whole new playthrough of the game. And just as kind of like a side tangent to that, um, I really want to have a second Switch so that I can um, shiny hunt in two games at once. Because like, I still want to follow up with my Registeel shiny hunting, but I also want to shiny hunt like normal mods. And if I could do both, I would be so happy. But currently I can't. And it's slightly upsetting to me. I just realized that I just used a token. Dude, I'm going to literally kill myself in this run. Like, I am making it so hard for myself. <sighs> no, I, I really don't. Okay, that's really annoying, dude, that I just did that to myself. <sighs> you guys mean the does he give me the good rod or the super rod? I think it's good. Yeah, it's good. Oh man, dude. I'm hurting myself so much more than like another trainer could right now. Man. I feel so dumb. And like, I feel like I write another one i'm gonna have to look that up also probably between episodes if i can do anything with the odd keystones i, I think it has to do with the underground though the last choice for not to no <laughs> no dude no i take the other way around because i'm actually pretty sure i have a not to in the box like i saw him um in between uh, 13 and 14 when I was looking at the Mammal Swine, which, fun fact about uh, him, is he has Water Absorb right now, which obviously will change, but that still negates like a whole weakness for him, which is pretty cool. Let me get, grab um, Strength real quick, because I know it's in here. This guy? Okay. Um, that's so weird. That guy literally talks about strength. Oh, I already have it. Do you. When do you get it? No, I'm not remembering. Whatever. Alright, so let me go and get my Olivine City encounter because you can go in right here. And I'm just gonna real quickly. Uh, if I can unregister the old rod and then register good rod and go ahead and use it. And this is probably going to be the end of the episode actually is getting this encounter. There we go. We landed a Pokemon. Ooh. I... I feel like we have an, an air on, or, well, obviously I don't, but I'm not going to fall stage of one. I'm going to go headbutt. Okay, that's not going to work. Let me try a different way. Let me go lower ball. There we go. And I got a name for this air on too. We're calling it, uh, 
Furious after Furious Fox. Thank you for your subscription to the channel, and I hope you are still watching. Furious. Fast and Furious, if you know what I mean, guys. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna real quickly though run to the Pokemon Center and confirm that I don't already have a Laron or Agron. I do not. Why have a chance? Uh, Water Bill, not bad. And minus, but you're adamant. Which is actually. Yeah, it's actually really good for Agron. So, actually, I actually have my lineup for um, a potential team down here at the bottom being like, you know. <clears throat> obviously, I'm looking at their final stages Ursarang, Magmortar. Uh, Mammal Swine, Metagross, Empoleon, and Breloom. I think Breloom's kind of the weak link. And I have this Torterra here, but it has Modest and Runaway, so it's like neither of those are like great for him. So it makes me just really not want to use him. Okay, so that is the end of episode 14. Uh, and we'll be back on. Thursday for episode 15. I can add basically. Basic adding. There we go. Alright, I'll catch you guys on Thursday. Bye.